Let's now bring in Jill Weinbanks, former Watergate prosecutor. Jill, good afternoon and thank you for joining us right here on CTV News Channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. You know, what we heard from Donald Trump is pretty much scripted. He has said these things in the past and he will continue to say them. But after what has happened yesterday, what are you thinking? What are the chances for Donald Trump moving ahead? What, is, what do you think he's actually feeling with this case against him? If he's getting any legitimate advice from any legitimate attorney, they are telling him that it is a very powerful indictment that has just been issued and that the evidence is very strong and that the witnesses are all Republicans. They are all his former employees in the government and that he will be convicted, that he should keep his mouth shut and that he should do something like consider a plea deal as his best way out. He believes that being elected will let him close the case before it goes to trial. But hopefully it will go to trial so that American voters will know what the facts are before they have to cast their ballot in November of 2024. This is, of course, an extremely serious issue, but I want to just bring this in. It reminds me of that whole series, House of Cards. I don't know if you watched it, but here is a president who is trying to, you know, win an election that he hasn't won. But anyway, let me just ask you about this. Uh, talking about critics and Republicans, Mike Pence himself said no man is above the Constitution. Now, moving forward, what next for him? Because we know that there is another date lined up in the month of August itself, end of August. What do you suspect is going to happen there? The, the judge who has been assigned this case, Judge Chutkin, has said that she will set a trial date when they reconvene on August 28th. And the Speedy Trial Act in America requires a trial within 70 days of the indictment. It seldom is within 70 days, and there are things that uh, toll the clock, so to speak, in terms of motions and uh, other legitimate reasons to toll the clock. But it shouldn't be that much longer. In Watergate, we went to trial uh, in September after indicting in March. So that was only a few months in between the indictment. And during that time, we went to the Supreme Court and argued and won the right to have the tape recordings. So it can be done. It can be had before the November elections. And it's essential that it be done. My last question to you, I mean, this is, of course, the most serious case so far, which is about overturning the election in 2020. There is another case that is still pending, as we know, where the state of Georgia and the election there is concerned. Uh, in your point of view, when we have so many cases, above 70 charges against Donald Trump, the prospect of him still being the front runner where the presidential race for the Republicans next year is concerned, how does that really work? He has a loyal group of cult members who will never believe the facts. They only listen to Fox News, which does not put forth the true information that they should have. And so they are deluded by him, and much as the January 6th rioters were, mm -hmm. who say, I came to Washington and I did what I did because he asked me to do it. But the facts are the facts. And in a court of law, his lies won't matter. And he is continuing to lie. He continues to say the election was stolen. He continues to say he's being persecuted. In fact, the law and the facts have combined in this way that it would be derelict not to prosecute him, not to hold him accountable. If Richard Nixon hadn't been pardoned by his successor, if he had gone to trial, I think Donald Trump would have learned the lesson mm -hmm. that no man, including a former president, is above the law. He does not have any good defenses to this case, and he should be tried, and I think he would be convicted. So it's very serious charges Indeed. that were against the people of the United States to deprive us of our votes being counted. Mm -hmm. And of course, I just want to wrap up by saying House of Cards is fiction, but this is reality, and it's happening yes. as we speak. Jill Weinbanks, former Watergate prosecutor, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.